Hey, any fish? Still the 23rd. And I wanted to share this with you. Um, came from this article, Man Planned Christmas Terror Attack in San Francisco, apparently. Pier 39. And so I'm reading it, and I get to his name. Everett Aaron Jameson. And I'm just led to look closer at it i all obviously i notice aaron i i just noticed that name right away as well as james so we have two biblical names in this guy's name and then i notice eve so we have eve aaron and james in here but eve everett did you know and i didn't until just a few moments ago that writ actually does mean covenant in hebrew all these are all the various covenants that writ writ something writ children of the writ tables of the writ isn't that amazing eve covenant and what did eve do what was the whole deal in in in, in the beginning right genesis 2 what did God say? He said, But the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, thou shalt not eat of it. For in the day that thou eatest thereof, thou shalt surely die. This is when God put Adam in the garden. This is what he told him. He told Adam, Don't eat the tree of the tree. Then he creates the woman from Adam, she becomes of his flesh, all of those things. And we go to Genesis 3, and what do we have? The serpent, who was more subtle than any beast of the field, which the Lord God had made. And the serpent said unto the woman, Ye shall not surely die. You see where I'm coming from? And if we look at the other name of this guy, Aaron, so Eve broke the covenant. Aaron, who was Aaron? He was Moses' big brother, right? And he, Aaron, married El Sheba and had four sons. He and Moses sprang not from the firstborn of Abraham, but Reuben, but from Levi, Jacob's third son, Jacob the 23rd in the line of Adam, okay? It all suggests that God's election of Moses and Aaron was not based on any sense of inheritance or privilege. Rather, God chose them out of his grace and will. Can we be seeing that God's grace is about to end and a new covenant, so to speak, be declared and then we have James which what does James really speak of mostly is you know grace plus works you know he he speaks of you know faith without works is dead right that's what James speaks of that's his his big thing so what does that mean does that mean oh you better get to work or you're you're gonna not be saved well no because that's not how it works man when you're saved, you want to do the works. You're excited to do the works. I'm trying to look at two things at once, so forgive me here. James also says, though, in James 4, and this is always stuck in my mind. He speaks of life being nothing more than a vapor. And that what we do in this world counts, you know, to paraphrase, to put it in a nutshell. So, are you saved? Do you know Jesus? I mean, have you made a covenant in your heart with him? You know? I mean, this is important. And this is the only way I know how to share it. Because I know that time's short. I just know that. That much I know. So you got to be right with the Father. Seek him through Jesus. Jesus, please, show me the truth. And he will. So, I had to share that with you. Uh, Shabbat Shalom again, and peace and grace. Many fish.
Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 